so welcome back to the channel today i'm going to share with you some more tricks in git and uh, version control so uh, there is this project that i like and i probably want to have my own copy and i don't want to keep getting reminders that i'm behind this particular repo because i've decided to go a different direction so in most cases i wouldn't fork this project because i'll keep getting notices about what's going on here so what i would do is i uh, get this uh, code or just simply copy the link here that i do have come back to my computer find out where i would want to store this project it's going to be on my local server open up a folder which i'll call new stuff now inside new stuff i'll just drop this in my editor to make things a bit easy i'll open up my terminal inside my editor you can either go to terminal and open here by clicking new and then i'll just do the git clone to have this repository come down onto my local machine so if i quickly open up new stuff you'll see that we have this new project here open this in my terminal again the forked project now unfortunately it still has a lot of kit stuff going on in there so we need to keep this updated to the master which is if i hit git remote dash v you'll see that the master that's talking about or the origin is actually this project so once this is done downloading uh, and we refresh our folder here you will see that we have this file right in here uh, it's existing so what are we going to do next we are going to find that there is a folder here that is hidden that is called a dot git which stores all our git history and our git commits so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to remove the directory type rmdir and then we're going to do dot git which will ask us to confirm to remove all the children that are inside our git folder so we'll type a and that will ensure that we've removed all the git so if we type git status now you'll see that we don't have git installed in this particular uh, repository but now we can now start our own git commits by typing gi and i git in it and now all our files are actually being monitored by git and we can do our git add all and we add everything in there then we're now going to commit it and then i'll type our commit message which will be in the two quotations and that will be our first commit and once that is all added we can then probably go online and then update this file and just add it there so we'll go to our git open a new repository here call it maybe demo git and then create the repo the next thing we need to do is add this as our remote uh, because we don't have any remotes in here for example if we type git remote dash v now we don't have any remotes but we'll add a new remote and then we are going to git push dash u origin master i'll just change this to a dash and then i'll punch that and when i hit enter after typing this command you'll see that all these files will be pushed up into the server so let's go and look at our code and you'll see that it has a commit it's not telling us about having any other repos it's not telling us that we're behind or ahead by a number of commits we have everything just starting out fresh so this is how you fork projects and make them your own without having to look back and just taking a different direction by using remove git inside your repo so use this let me know how that is helping you thank you for watching